Hello everybody, it's the Game Legend here, and today we're going to be playing Brawlhalla as per usual. And today is the return of the Brawl Halloween event, um, which means we're going to have two new skins, Werewolf Thatch, and of course Bride Mirage, as well as all the returning skins, such as Pumpkin Spice Yumiko, and Monster Nash, which has a really sick hammer by the way. Um, we're going to have the Jack KO Lantern coming back, the podiums, and some other stuff, which is the colors and avatars. Uh, but yeah, uh, I could only afford haunting with one character, <laughs> which is Cassidy. So we're going to hop into a couple games with Cassidy and show off the new colors and the uh, stage effects and all that. So let's get into game one. It's a Nyx. Look at these nice little pumpkins just chilling. We're going to give him a little emote, get my blasters ready. Uh, haunting colors look sick with these blasters. So I'm super excited to be able to get these colors with all my new characters. I have them with my old mains, but I do not have them with my new ones. I haven't really played Brawlhalla recently, so I'm scared this gameplay is going to be terrible, but we'll, we'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. Um, but we got we got a Nyx, uh, Black Nyx, which I've said before, I'm, I'm bad against playing against blasters, even though I actually play blasters. And I don't know why, I'm just not very good against them. So we're definitely going to want to play Hammer here, okay, or not. He's playing very passive, just trying to wait for me to get close and then use a couple SIGs or a D-Light, so we're going to have to pay attention to that. I do really like the uh, Halloween event. I think they go more all out with the Halloween event than any other. They have, um, they change textures, they add things to stages, it's just, re it's just a really cool event. Um, probably one of my favorites. I do think the skins are probably the best they've ever been in Halloween event. They have a ton of skins, a ton of things going on right now. And it's really sick. Uh, sure, it took a little bit of time to get here, but super happy it is here. So we, we take it. Um, I also think haunting colors are probably one of the coolest because, you know, it has purple and I like purple. Uh, you can't really see a ton of it on uh, this on Cassidy, but it's there on a lot of skins. Some skins have a ton of purple, some don't. Some have like none, like uh, like this one, but that's all good. I can't wait to get the uh, Monster Nash. Uh, I'm definitely going to get that one because the hammer skin is sick. I threw that wrong. <laughs> Probably should have done a warm-up game or something before we hopped right into it, but it's all right. We're going to toss that down, try and get a nice little kill. Okay. Oh, God. We're going to toss a bomb down. Uh, going to try and space a little bit. Ooh, that would have been a nice little way to finish that. We're going to need to play very careful here if we're going to want to win. Almost punish that. <sighs> I'm not very good at playing against this person's specific playstyle. He's really passive, which I guess is how you're supposed to play blasters, but it's really annoying to deal with. Kind of just waits for you to attack and then dodges and doesn't really aggress until you do, which I don't really like because, you know, I like to approach and play super aggressive, but that's just my play style. I, I try to, keep trying to jo uh, drag out his dodge, but not really effective. Just because I'm not very good. <laughs> Especially after I've taken a pretty good break from the game. I haven't, uh, I've been taking huge breaks recently. Uh, I have been throwing some stuff around. I've been uploading content, which is basically just um, pre-recorded. This one should be pre-recorded as well because I don't really have time to do anything. <laughs> uh, but anyways, it's all good. I do think it's super exciting that we're going that we're getting this uh, event back. Really happy. I think that this hammer skin looks sick with haunting. I really like the like purple outline. And then the orange finish it looks sick. And I'm happy the event's back. So we're going to be trying out blasters again. See how it goes. Even though I'm way better with hammer than I am blasters. But anyways. We're going to be spacing out a little bit. Hit them with a couple side lights. Here we go. Here we go. Building up big damage. Try to hit me with a nice little spike there. I didn't let him. Ooh, okay. Going for the bomb throw. Dragged out the dodge and there we go that should be game all right nice little warm up there i got into my groove a little bit 
Well, there we go. That's game one. Oh, I forgot we get, we're getting challenges. But yeah, let's get into All game right. two. Hopping into game two against the Bodvar. Um, gonna try out the blasters first off. Probably one of my worst, or not one of my worst. It's definitely my worst weapon of the two choices that I have right now. But we're dealing with it. There we go. Getting some nice hammer, hammer gimps. Quick little game so far. Nice, easy first stock. We're gonna try and stick with hammer, just because I love hammer. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm can't, I'm really excited for that Nash skin. I know I've said it a couple times, but I think it's probably one of my favorite hammer weapon skins in the game. Uh, there obviously are uh, some other cool ones, but I think that one's the coolest. Um, I don't know if it's animated or not. I know the Scarlet one is animated, but I don't really like that one, to be honest. Um, the, uh, I think it's Mad Scientist Scarlet. It's, it's, it's an eh skin. Or, I think the Lance is sick, but I don't think the Hammer is that cool. So it's kind of a disappointment for first animated Hammer skin, but it's fine. Ooh, oh, almost got a nice little gimp there. Okay, this guy really likes his spikes. So we're gonna keep our distance here. He's really desperate for a kill right now, which is good for me because when people get desperate for kills, they start playing a little dumb sometimes, like that. That clearly was not a very good option, uh, but he went for it anyways because he wanted the kill. And they tend to play super aggressive, so if you can kind of space them out when they're playing like that, that's like the best time to space out. Um, just because they tend not to play as well as they would if like you were low on health. Or, I guess, high on health, or... I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. Uh, if they're at, like, white or yellow, they'll play calm, they'll play damage-based, but when when they get you high, they just focus on the kill. They don't care about anything but the kill. And I guess this guy activates it early, because... <laughs> I don't know how he's, why he's trying to build up damage with just SIGs, but... Anyway. He's going for, I'm assuming, another SIG. I'm assuming a side sig eventually here uh, but anyways gonna go for a delight because delight's perfect it's fast it's quick um, it's good at edge guarding especially when people are below you uh, we're gonna keep it going here Ooh, okay that was dumb move from him but I guess I couldn't really I guess I didn't touch the uh, touch the wall I thought I did but I guess not so, if I did touch the wall, that would have been a really bad move, because he could have been easily edge guarded, like maybe like that. Didn't work there, but you know, it's a different situation. But anyway, nice little uh, game we got going here. He's gonna try and aggress. I'm assuming, yeah, he really wants to. He just wants to kill early. Uh, that's like his whole game plan right now. I'm fine with I'm fine with chilling for a little bit because I'm not. I'm at the good spot right now. I can just hit him with like one side light and he's done. He's on ledge. He's panicking probably. So he's back on ledge. Gonna apply a little bit of pressure. Nice little gun side light and there we go. Uh, I, he was in a bad position basically that whole game. So I kind of feel bad for him. But at the same time we're taking what we can get. So yeah, let's get into game three and that'll be last game All of the video. Alright, hop into game three against it. Uh, against a uh, Zol. Nice map. I think this map looks really sick with the pumpkins on it. Uh, the colors just blend good. But anyways, let's get into the game real quick. Um, I can't wait to get, or I'm going to be grinding up a bunch of coins to get as many haunting uh, Hammer Legends as I can. Right now I only have Cassidy. I think I might have Scarlet. Maybe not. This might actually be the uh, only color scheme I don't have for Scarlet. So it'll be cool to get that, but here we go. Definitely gonna want to space out here, which is hard against uh, axe. Axe is a really hard weapon to get out of your face. It's just kind of always there. Saw that coming. I didn't punish it right, but most uh, when they get you in the air, most axe players really like either if they're playing Zol, they like the Ensign, but if they're playing any other. Axe Legend, they really like the uh, recovery because recovery covers a ton of area and it does a ton of damage. And uh, most people tend to bring that into the rest of their gameplay because they're just used to playing Axe. 
So, like he was playing uh, cannon and he was doing a lot of recoveries, which isn't bad because cannon recovery is good, but at the same time, it's not always the best move. So, just be careful of that sometimes. But here we go. He's definitely approaching with a lot of side lights, which I don't know. It's, it's definitely good for building up damage, but it might be a bit harder to kill. Because there's not really any true kill combos with that. But there we go. He throws out a nice little uh, gravity cancel and light. Does a good amount of damage. Good amount of knockback. Alright. He does not want me to get the weapon. <laughs> but anyway. We're going to see a Sig coming soon. Either that or a uh, recovery. Maybe. There we go. Got him out of the little box zone. Now it's my turn to box him out. This map is really good for... If you're on bottom platform, you have like all the control, um, which I guess is good for Cassidy because she has a ton of zone. It's not very good for Zol because, I mean, obviously Axe zones a lot, but it's, uh, it doesn't do very well at keeping people out like uh, Blasters do. Do? <laughs> uh, blasters are really good at uh, keeping people away, which is nice. And here we go. We're going to have Zol. Uh, smacking him around a little bit because it's easy to do that with Zol. Even though he's a strong character, he has a lot of. He's slower and he doesn't have a ton of decks, but we're gonna keep him spaced out. I think Blasters might have been the best choice here, but I'm confident in my in my hammer to keep him away and then finish it off. Ooh, never mind. He's good. He's good. We're going to need to... Oh, there you go. See, he's going for that recovery again. You can see it coming, and you can kind of just get rid of it. Ah, oh. <laughs> I really went for it. I went for the uh, Russian Mafia. But there we go. Give him a little GG. And there we go. That's game three. Well, um, here's my thoughts on the event. It's sick. I love it. I love the Halloween event. Probably one of my favorites. Um, I don't know why it's showing crossovers here. Maybe it's just because of The Walking Dead, but... I love the skins. Especially this one, this one's sick. Might get the Pumpkin Spice Yumiko, maybe. Eh. <laughs> it's not my top priority, but I might get it. Uh, the colors are sick. They're expensive, like the home team ones. So start saving up now. And yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll try to get more content out. But yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for me. Peace out.